Happy Casual Friday. Today's tip, Vault Apps. Now, what are they? These apps are normally disguised as calculators, but enter a passcode and you open up an area to store information inside of it. Now, in relation to kids, the information they store may be in three areas that we've heard about. One is it could be screenshots of threads they've had with people, texting or what have you. But there may be some content inside of this texting that is inappropriate. Something's been said negatively about somebody, et cetera, et cetera. Number two is sexting. Kids are no longer going to the park saying, hey, show me yours, I'll show you mine. They're sending pictures. So don't be alarmed, that's what's happening. So these pictures, they don't want them stored on their camera roll. So they may put them inside a Vault app or simply delete them, but the Vault app conversation is what we're here for. And three, a little more serious, is around pornography. Now, kids are exposed to this stuff at earlier, earlier ages than ever before because it's simply available everywhere, especially in a Google search. They may come across content and they may get more curious and they may start storing these images for later perusal. A Vault app would be a perfect area to put this information behind a lock and key. That's where a Vault app could be a negative in a situation like this. Now, how do you find out if your child's using such a map? Number one is check their device. Check all the inside the groups they have on their screen and check all the different screens they have. Is there any apps that look like a calculator beyond the normal calculator that should be on their device, okay? That's number one. Number two is look into the App Store or the Google Play Store. On the App Store, it's quite simple. Type in Vault Apps in the search bar and then look for any the little cloud icon beside the apps and then that means that app was previously installed and then removed. On Google, you'll normally go to the History tab or the Libraries tab and in there you'll see the previously installed apps and you can search in there. Now, if you do find one, we definitely have to talk about it, right? We're parents, we, we love our kids, we wanna make sure that they're being raised properly. So number one is show them. Show them that you've actually found an app like this pr either previously installed or installed currently. And then get into the why. Why did you install the app and what was your interest in it? Is it a, a friend that told you to do it? Uh, is it a personal interest? And how are you using it? Now, this may be an embarrassing conversation because as I mentioned, there could be some inappropriate content being stored in here. But the key here is to empower them and teach them that these apps are bad. They're usually used for inappropriate content. And if they are having a challenge with inappropriate content, that you're there for them. So that's the tip for today. A little bit more of a serious note, but one that as parents we need to be aware of. So thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a great weekend. And let me know below if you found one. Cheers.